morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm incredibly excited to participate in the conversations over the next couple of days. We've seen hospitals go from being hospital-centric, inpatient-oriented institutions to things that are much more like health systems. Many of you have lots of priorities in your organizations. How do we raise the visibility and dedication and commitment to patient-driven, patient-led healthcare? The last couple of years for us, is really been looking at, just like all of us in the room, consumerism of healthcare. We're seeing more and more physicians considering different approaches to aligning with their respective health systems. We were planning to launch our central contact center in November of 2013. So as you see here, I turned to my best friend at that point in time, which was Excel spreadsheets. The ability to, number one, match patients to the right provider, Number two, allow the patient to get to the right appointment slot with that provider. And then furthermore, the higher level goal of allowing you all to optimize the way that you leverage your provider network. None of that would be possible without good provider data. I have that euphoria that I feel when I can tear down a, a barrier to that neurology department or that orthopedic department. The terrific response that we got to the scope of practice survey was really hard earned. We actually took the job descriptions for call center agents and we totally revised them. They're now called patient access liaisons and I think I may have heard that from someone here last year. <laughs> One word jumped out to me that really kind of gives me hope uh, of, of where we're going and, and that's the word experimentation. Try some of the stuff that you heard today. Try a new technology company. Try a way of engaging your physicians that's different and then come back next year and, and tell us about how it worked.